welcome to my channel this is is this so and what i do i solve technical joint problems and also provide very important information that you can make you so for you to have better performance in your technical joint examinations um if you are coming across my videos for the first time i want to say thank you and i want to ask you to subscribe to this channel put on notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be notified and help me to share my videos with your friends who are technical drawing students and it's very important that you practice this subject this is a very simple subject and for you to see it as simple as i said is for you to practice when you practice you surely master it now what i want to do now is to uh show you how you can construct a superior uh trochoid how you can construct a superior trochoid and i will also be uh showing you how you can construct an inferior trochoid and that will be in the second video of this particular uh problem uh the question that i want to use now is this question 12 on pick up a packer uh, book one engineering drawing so i'll be using this question though i'm not going to use the whole information given to us in this uh, particular question but let me read the ones that i want to read here i want to use here so here we have draw a superior trochoid for a point 12 millimeters millimeters outside a rolling circle of 64 millimeters diameter so i'm not going to use this one that says that let the circuit make 1.5 revolutions with the initial position of the tracing point at the bottom of its vertical line where well, i'm not going to use the whole information i'm not going to use uh, this particular 1.5 of uh, revolutions so maybe i will still solve this uh, the, the whole of it uh, later but what i just want to make use of is these 12 uh, millimeters of the point that is outside the rolling circle the diameter of the rolling circle is 64 millimeters so you need to uh, give me attention so that you understand what you mean by rolling circle and the point that is at uh, 12 millimeters outside the rolling circle so let's start so the first thing that i'm going to do here is to draw a horizontal center line so i will draw a horizontal center line like this Okay, then the next thing that I'm going to do is to draw a vertical center line. Vertical center line at this point. Okay, then I first of all draw the rolling circle. So the diameter of the rolling circle is 64 millimeters and half of 64 is 32. So I'll take a measurement of 32 millimeters on my ruler. <coughs> 32 millimeters on my ruler okay so this is 32 so i will put the uh, pinpoint here and i will draw a circle okay all right so this is the rolling circle so the next one that i'm going to do the next thing i'm going to do is that i will add that 12 millimeters to the 32 of the radius of this rolling circle so if i add 12 millimeters to 32 uh, that would be 44 millimeters so i will take a measurement of 44 millimeters as a radius 44 millimeters so this is 44 okay and i will draw a circle i will draw a circle like this okay so this circle that i just drew so we are going to make use of the point on it so the point on it is the one that will give us the curve of the curve that we call superior trochoid so you see the way i'm going to do it now so the next thing that i'm going to do is to divide this big circle into 12 equal parts so we divide into 12 equal parts okay all right so we are dividing the circle the big circle into 12 equal parts not this not the rolling circle itself the rolling circle is the most small circle that uh we have inside so it's not the one that we are dividing into 12 equal parts it is the big circle so where we are going to we have the point that is going to give us the curve that we call superior trochoid so we uh 
okay all right so i'm going to number the points on this circle on this big circle so the first point so you are starting from here so i'll call this point i'll call it zero so this point is one this point is two this point is three this point is four this point is five this is six this is seven this is eight and this point is nine so this is ten and this point is eleven okay so with what we have done here the next thing that we are going to do is to draw horizontal line from this point so we draw this horizontal line we are going to draw horizontal line from each point on the big circle not on the small circle but on the big circle so i will draw horizontal line like this then i will draw horizontal line so 1 and 11 down the same point on the circumference of the big circle so we also draw the line from here so that is 2 10 then so we already have horizontal line for 3 and 9 drawn so i'll just extend it i just need to extend that so okay so like this then so 4 and 8 they're on the same point on the circumference of the big circle and also 5 and 7 they're on the same point on the circumference of the big circle so i'll draw this then we also have 6 so we draw horizontal line from here like this now after we have done this now the next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to draw horizontal line from this point on the rolling circle so we are going to draw horizontal line from this point on the rolling circle so i will draw horizontal line from this point on the rolling circle so it goes like this now i'm going to calculate the circumference of the rolling circle i'm going to calculate the circumference of the rolling circle so um i'll pause the video and calculate the circumference which i believe you know how to do all right so the circumference of the rolling circle that i calculated is 201 so what you just need to is, is to multiply 3.142 by uh 64 and that gave me 201 so we are going to take on this line that we drew out of this point from the on the on the rolling circle so we are going to me take a measurement of 201 201 so 201 so i let me move so um so 201 so this is where it stops 201 so it stops here so this is 201 here okay so now so this distance 201 that we have from this point to this point we are going to divide into 12 equal parts so which i believe you know how to do as we have divided the big circle into 12 equal parts so distance this distance 201 uh of the, which is the circumference of the rolling circle this small circle so we are going to divide into 12 equal parts so i'll pause the video and do that as i know or i believe that you know how to divide a given line to a number of equal parts so i'll do that and i'll come back and show you the next thing that we have to do all right so the circumference of the uh, rolling circle that we took is measurement from year to year which is 201 has been divided into 12 equal parts as i said so i'm going to uh, number this point so i'm going to number this point so this is so this point i'll just say well i just call this zero though we already have zero here so this is one this is two this is three so this is four five this is six seven this is eight this is nine this is ten eleven and then back to zero okay now before i continue so i'm going to make this line so this is uh the circumference of the rolling circle so i will make it a thick line so from here to here okay so make it a thick line all right so the next thing that i'm going to do is that i will erect a vertical line on each of these points erect a vertical line on each of these points so i'll just do that uh quickly so so we erect a vertical line here okay then we erect a vertical line so then we draw a vertical line
okay so i believe you still remember i got the radius of the big circle so i added 12 millimeters of the distance of the point from the rolling circle i added it with the uh with the radius of the rolling circle so that is what i used to draw the big circle that is 12 plus 32 which gives us 44 millimeters that is what i used to draw the big circle okay now so all these center point that we have so i will call this center point i will call it center c1 so this is center c0 so this is center c2 so what we are doing is that we are constructing i want to construct a superior trochoid so this is center c3 center 4 and this is center 5 this is center 6 this is center 7 this is center 8 so this is center 9 so center 10 and this is center 11 and this is center 0 okay so the next thing that we are going to do now so it's very very important that you pay attention to what i'm going to do right now all right as i said that the point that it's going to give us the curve that we are go we we call superior trochoid is a point on this uh big circle on this big circle this is the rolling circle so for us to get that those points so we need to take the radius of the big circle not the radius of the small circle so or the rolling circle so we take the radius of this big circle so we take this radius so this distance 44 millimeter the radius 44 millimeters of the big circle then we put it as center one here this is center c1 here so you make an arc on line on the on line one on line one of the big circle not the small circle on line one though we don't have any line on the small circle or on the rolling circle but on the lines that we draw out of the big circle so we make a, an arc on this point here so this is the first one then to c2 to so make an arc on line two then three so we make an arc on line three then center four so we make an arc on center on line four then center five center five so we make an arc on line five then six so that we touch this point so if your work is accurate you touch this point on line on six then seven so you make an arc on line seven here then eight so you make an arc on line eight then nine so you make an arc on line nine then ten so you make an arc on line ten it will, it will go outside so you go outside so then so 11 so 11 will be so 11 will be here so 11 will be here at this point here okay so i need to this line i need to bring it down here so to get that point as we have a point zero here so i need to bring it here so here i have zero here Okay. so don't forget that distance from here to here is the circumference of the rolling circle not of the big circle so please just look at the way i'm doing it here okay now so all this point that we have obtained we are going to use our french curve to join them together so this point zero is part of the point that we are going to use so on this point here so this point so this point we have this point so this point six here and this point here so this point this point here also this point this point here and the last point here all right so i will use my french curve to join them together so i will start like this okay so i need to make sure i have this point okay All right. 
right so we need to take it easy okay so we are not to rush so that we can get a good a nice cough all right so i'm bringing out the shape so little by little so i will start from here now start from here okay It's something that we have to take easy. Okay, so we're almost done. Okay, then, so the last part is this. All right, so this is the cough that we call superior trochoid we call it superior trochoid so as i said i will also be working on the inferior trochoid so that we can see the difference between the two so uh all you need to do is to practice so as i said this uh, uh technical drawing is simple if you can practice it you will see it as simple as i said so thank you for watching keep on practicing let's meet on that of the inferior trochoid thank you and god bless you